What's going on guys, my name is Absolute Bacon. Welcome back to my channel. A couple of you were upset with the length of last week's video. Because of that, I decided to bring you a lengthy Q&A answering all the juicy questions that you guys asked me anonymously this time. And because today's video is probably demonetized, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Adam and Eve. If you guys have been here for a while, you know who Adam and Eve are. They're an adult toy store that sells things for singles, couples, men, females. They've got absolutely anything that you need. And most of their toys are USB rechargeable as well as waterproof, which makes them safe for the shower and super convenient to keep the battery 100% all the time. They have a huge catalog of stuff, probably got something there for you, and they are offering you guys 50% off any single item as long as you use the discount code Blake at checkout with free shipping to the USA and Canada and 100% satisfaction guarantee. Now let's get into the Q&A. What is my favorite movie? Interstellar. I can watch that movie over and over again and the soundtrack is just so good. What is your workout plan? I do the bro split, which is chest and tries, and then back and buys, legs, usually on its own because I hate leg day so I just want to get in and out and then I do shoulders on its own as well as I add in cardio every single day before workout sometimes after sometimes I go do a double dip and do extra cardio as well as hanging leg raises every single day it's a hefty workout plan I'm probably overworking and I know that that's counterproductive but when I'm not at the gym I'm thinking about the gym what is the most useless talent you have it's got to be this whistle I've said it before but it's I don't know, it kind of sounds like a bird. If you could know the absolute total truth to one question, what question would you ask? It would 100% be what happens after you die. What ridiculous thing has someone tricked you into doing or believing? I was buying a new MacBook for editing and it was back ordered and I was waiting weeks and weeks and weeks for it. And then Christmas was coming and Jordan photoshopped the Apple website to show that the MacBook that I had been waiting on is now on sale for $1,000 off. Without even looking into it, I canceled my order because it hadn't shipped off yet. And then Jordan didn't believe that I actually canceled it. So I showed him that I canceled and he told me he was joking and to look at the actual website. So I had to reorder the MacBook now and because I canceled and reordered, I'm back at the bottom of the list and I had to wait like an extra month to even get it. Thanks, Jordan. What haven't you tried in sex? Dudes. Story about the riskiest picture that you have taken. I actually made a full video about this. It was probably the one that I did on the Toronto Skyrise. This video right here, I took a booty pic on top of the 65th floor on like a beam and I really wanted this pic for years and years and years. I don't suggest anybody ever does that it was the riskiest and stupidest thing I could have done it happened that was the riskiest photo I've ever taken in my life the photo is on my Instagram at absolutely Blake if you want to go check it out it's not censored what's your favorite video game on the ps5 it is apex legends not even a ps5 game I'm still playing ps4 games on ps5 favorite underwear brand under armor these are black ones but they got like some big waistbands which I love and I wear boxer briefs has a follower ever properly freaked you out and how yes 100% I went on a trip to New York with Jordan and Jeremy a follower said that he was supplying the flights but we didn't even need the flights because I was in Toronto so I just drove down while we were sitting in his house we googled his name because we wanted to know who we were dealing with this guy had no photos anywhere he had an absurd amount of money and then it comes to find out that he was a criminal for theft of like huge amounts of money what caused the most intense orgasm you have ever had I don't like weed guys but I tried it once and it felt like I came twice like instantly like once right after another I made a story time on it if you were paid one million dollars would you fuck a dude Dude, I already know people are gonna hate me for my answer, but 100%. That's an easy million dollars, and I'm on top. Everybody's got a booty hole. Easy money. If you got kicked out of Canada and Sweden, where would you live? I'd like to live somewhere warm. Maybe somewhere very tropical and cheap, like Thailand, or on the other hand, somewhere expensive and warm still like LA. What would it take for your girlfriend to peg you or has it already happened? Has not already happened. I don't think that I would allow it. It's too submissive for me. What's the weirdest video request you've received on your OnlyFans and did you do it? I was requested to fart in a jar. No. I did not do it. How true is it you would hang out with your fans? I do it all the time. And I've also been on plenty of trips with people who were once fans who are now friends with me. Does it ever bother you that your fans are mostly gay? Nope, doesn't bother me at all. Why would I let someone else's sexuality choose how I am? So like, it's not affecting me if you're gay, straight, anything. It doesn't bother me. If you wanna watch, I'm happy about it. What's your opinion on open relationships and would you ever have one? Go for it. I know plenty of people in open relationships. Not for me, I'm too jealous. Fuck that, wouldn't try it. But if you're in one, fucking send it. I love the movie Savages. Would you use your clone willy on yourself so when people tell you to go fuck yourself, you can say you already did? I keep saying I'm not gonna do stuff and then I end up doing it. 
So, <laughs> fucking who knows? But currently in my mindset, no. Why do you really not show full frontal on OnlyFans? Is it because you're afraid people will judge your size? I'm not afraid people will judge my size. I've showed my clone wheelies. I've even said my size. Like, I am not worried about that at all. What drives me nuts is people leaking it. That's the whole reason. Like, a hater will spend 10 bucks to join my OnlyFans and then they'll leak it and then it's out there and my family can search it up. So the only way that I would ever post a full frontal is if it was a benefit to me. That's it. Like, I have no urge to. I don't really care if one's out there, but I also don't want to be posting my dick for free. However, I have thought about this strongly. I think I figured out a way to do it. Lots of people want this. People on my YouTube want it. People on the OF want it. And I know it's going to get leaked. 100%. So the deal that I'm willing to make, because my one year on OnlyFans is coming up on March 18th, that if just half of the people that were once signed up to my OnlyFans re-sign up, and it's not that many people, I promise you, I will post it on my OnlyFans. Then, the full frontal will be out there. The reason I'm doing it this way is because A, it's gonna get leaked, 100%. B, I wanna see how many people are actually serious that you want this photo, and C, if it's gonna get leaked and out there, I wanna benefit a little bit. That's about it. Catch is, you don't know how many people need to sign up, but I promise you, I've always stuck to my word. Even Jordan can hold me to it. I will leave that with you and you can hate on me for this little game, but this is the only way that I'll ever post a full frontal. I'm not going to just do it just for it to get leaked. I'm sorry guys. Other than that, there is no worry in my mind that people are going to judge me. You can call me small. I'm happy with my penis size. I think it's a good looking penis. It's nice and straight. It's firm. My girlfriend likes it. I like it. Fit two of her hands, one of mine. <laughs> Do you have a tattoo that you regret getting or wish you got a tattoo in a different place? Yeah, this EST94, the font is so stupid. That does not look like an E. Looks like an R. I wanted Lionel the Dino to be in the middle of my bicep and they put him up to the side. So now I either need like a little island with a palm tree or like a T-Rex or something looking back at Lionel the Dino, but that is it. No other regrets. Thank you for being an LGBT ally, but do you actually have LGBT friends? Yes, I've actually got a couple LGBT friends. Most of them live in Vancouver. One is Sophia. She was in a couple videos. I used to live with her. She was my roommate. Absolute gem. This, that girl. She's still out there. A couple others. I'm not going to name them for their privacy. And then Shay. Super gay. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Vegas Pride with him and he is taking Jordan and I to Texas on April 22nd to 25th in Austin If anyone's gonna be around there and wants to come meet up and hang out with Jordan I and Shay We will be there getting lit having a good time. Would you ever fool around sexually with a guy? No. What kind of music do you like to listen to? EDM, Veld Music Festival Toronto. I'm gonna be there this year. Do you shave your ass? Not usually, but I did for my most recent OF photo. Have you ever had your ass eight? No, no, not about that, no. What is your ethnic background? Just curious, you look Greek or Mediterranean? 0% Greek, but I am mostly Italian. Did you think you'd be as big on YouTube as you are now? No, I didn't, because I actually made a goal when I was at about 10,000 subscribers, and I said, if I ever hit 100K, that's it, I'm deleting my channel. And then we hit the 100k. I was stoked and I kept on going, but I, I can tell that I, I kind of, I took a couple breaks and slacked a little bit, but no, I never thought that we'd get to this big. We're almost at 190,000 subscribers right now. So if you are not subscribed and you're new here, hit that subscribe button for new videos every Thursday and Saturday. I know 50% of you right now watching are not subscribed. <laughs> what would it take to get you to do a whole YouTube video button naked? That one's coming. Would you ever get circumcised to keep your girlfriend or wife happy? No, they should love me for who I am ant eater and all. Do you actually enjoy the butt stuff with toys or do you just do it for the videos? I do enjoy it, but it's not my go-to. It's a lot of work to set up. I'm more of a let's get it done and over with. I got other shit to do. Bust a nut and uh, out. Speaking of which, somebody asked, what is your favorite toy? And it is the Adam's rotating prostate massager. It's got a wireless controller and everything and you can get it on adamandeve.com with the discount code Blake for 50% off. What's your sexuality? I like to claim that I'm straight, but I do some questionable things. So I do not like penis. I can appreciate and attract dude but I'm not attracted to dudes I don't mind making out with dudes I don't mind being naked around dudes I'm in love with pussy. That's my sexuality. And that is it, guys. That is the whole Q&A. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, guys. If you want to sub to my OF and make that full frontal happen by March 18th, I'll put the link in the comments down below. If not, that's cool too, guys. Whether I have one out there or not does not affect me. But nonetheless, if you do subscribe and for some reason we don't hit it, I think, I think you guys will be able to hit it. But if we don't, I will make sure that I do something for the ones that do come this month, just so it's not like a straight gamble. Guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. I appreciate it. I know last week's was short. This one was long. This one's got juicy content. It's very simple. It's in the bedroom. But you guys love the Q&As. Look at this shit. The views are always up. That's why we're on Q&A number 18. Leave me comments down below if you have any more questions. I'll answer them as soon as possible. And don't forget to subscribe for a new video every single Thursday and Saturday. Peace.